mit äh, Halion Standalone, um, which we can use also, like I said before, without making use of the note expression uh, for a really rolly seaboard. Um, let's put in, I go to my own library here, Dimension 5, which I created uh, the sounds for, still working on it. Let's, I don't know, Alien Temples. Let's take Alien Temples, for instance. As we can see here now, right away, uh, because I make use of a Luma script, uh, he knows, you, you can sense that it's a standalone version of Halion, so he knows right away that I have to make 16 instances of this Alien Temples, as you can see here to the left. And uh, normally, uh, boop, 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 boop. If we go to the modification matrix, everything is set up already with the right note expression, but also the, the global. So now we don't meet, uh, we don't use the note expression, so we use the normal uh, um, controller messages like aftertouch and the CC sound uh, cont5, which is the CC74. And as you can see, if I play the rolly keyboard now, so you can see to the left here that it's depending on what, whatever note you play, uh, different channels are spiking. And MIDI controller message and note messages are coming in on all 16 channels. And it's, it's working okay. The slide is working, the pressure's working. see that for instance here my CPU window uh, above it's it's way much more CPU hungry than uh, only one instance and making use of the node expression like we did in, before when it's as a v, VSTI inside of Cubase so you can play it, uh, the seaboard rise with the Halion standalone but uh, CPU use will definitely rise. Of course, I have some other programs for, for instance, to record this video, which is also making use of the, the, the same CPU. Uh, but even, even so, for in, and you can watch it. If, if, uh, if for instance, I go to the, the, the flex razor, and if I want to put it on for this, uh, for this 16 inches, you can immediately see it's spiking, it's, it's bugging, it's, it's way much, it's way too much. So this is not really fantastic, but okay. If you don't use the flag phraser and you don't make, because here we, we can see, uh, we have here uh, three layers on, we have some um, sample layer, a synth zone, and a wavetable zone together, so it's okay, it's, it's not the most heavy patch I made, but uh, it's doable, but uh, yeah, don't put in too much, uh, for instance, FX, uh, CPU hungry FX, delays and reverbs, because, as I said before, you have fine, in the end, you must make 16 instances of this uh, program, and which really is heavy on your computer resources. But as you can see, we can play the role, it's working nice with the and standalone, and with uh, making use of the, the Lua script. Uh, as you can see here, pop up, you can quickly do make, uh, you can sense if, if it's a standalone situation or not a standalone situation. Uh, you can load automatically all the instances up, uh, instances up of the program, so you can make it ready for your seaboard, and it's working fine. You can make use of a macro, as you can say, I, I created a macro here, so if I play it, I can, I can yeah, make use of, uh, the, uh, I can choose the reverb level, I can change a little bit tones, high and low tones, it's all working very well. Uh, I can even put on flex rise, which of course I showed you is not a very good thing to do when it's in a standalone situation, but it's all uh, it's all working nicely. But I will show this instrument in a later on video when I'm uh, making a, when I'm having a little bit more 
patches and instrument and sounds for you to to see and to hear. Okay, that's it.